the evening from London, King's Cross Station. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't know the words. I'm so excited. I'm, uh, this is, this is the best I can do. There's a lot of very excited people up there as well. Ooh. station is because tonight we are taking the Caledonian Sleeper to Fort William, Scotland. If you're new here, I'm Steph and along with my husband Pete and our three-year-old son Hayes. I forgot his island. We've been traveling full-time for about a year and a half and we love trains. If you're not new here, you know that by now and thank you for watching. We're going on another one tonight. took the overnight sleeper from Penzance Cornwall to London where we are now. We've just spent a few days here and then by the time we wake up tomorrow we will have taken trains from the southernmost place in the UK. You can take them to almost the most northern station which if you know us is very exciting. These are the only two overnight trains in the UK. The one we've just done which is the Great Western Railways, Night Riviera and then today's the Caledonian sleeper. It's not just us that's excited. There was like lots of people in the waiting room equally as excited. There's something about an overnight train that is just really exciting. And so easy. Like we're just waiting until we can get on. They're cleaning it. And we have our suitcases. We haven't gone through security. We haven't had to check baggages. Baggages, luggage, our baggage. You ready? Just get to turn up and get on a train and go to sleep. We'll get on a train drink some whiskey, go to sleep, and then wake up in a new country. Look at this. Okay, now we're not, we're not allowed to touch anything because the train is actually on. All right, this is really cool. And I don't mean this normally happens, but because we're here a little bit early, one of the train drivers has just asked if we want to come on and have a look at the train. I mean, it's incredible. Isn't this cool? I'm a wee sleeper and I'm a wee VIP. What do you want? Do you want this one? Wee VIP. Wee VIP. Hey. Okay. You gotta oh. save that for the mountains. That's why we're heading to the mountains. You need it so that they know where you're going. Because you're heading to the mountains. So now you are traveling on the Okay, so see, so D4 and D for you. So in your room there's a brick of card. Okay. So if you fill it out upon departure, okay. and then just hang it outside your door within the hour that we depart, okay. it means that we can prepare your breakfast in the morning and you've not got any disappointments. Okay. Awesome. And you're travelling to Fort William with us. That's correct. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. So we should be boarding in the next 10 minutes or so. Okay. Alright, we've just, we've, only, we've met a few staff. And already oh, they've yeah, been yeah, yeah. brilliant. So that was Greg who just uh, was checking us in. He gave Hayes and I a sticker, and mine says, I'm a wee explorer because I'm heading to the mountains. And yours says, I'm a wee VIP. Do you know what a VIP stands for? Yeah. Very important person. We have found the bar car. And this is a very American statement, but I'm already obsessed with everybody's accents. Like every one of them. We'll also be in in the morning for breakfast with a view of the Highlands. But more importantly, let's see what's going on here. Caledonian Sleeper Anniversary Whiskey. This year marks the 150 year anniversary of the Scotland London the Sleeper Service. 150 years. So in honor of that, they have made their own whiskey. There's a lot of information, but the important fact is it's 150 year anniversary and in celebration of that you can have special whiskey. Fortunately, they were out of the haggis flavored crisps, so we're getting Aberdeen Angus instead. Good pairing, I think, for this whiskey. Pete, would you like 
Scottish porridge pot, bacon roll, sausage roll, vegan sausage, in morning roll with sweet pickle, granola yogurt, a traditional Scottish breakfast, hot smoked salmon frittata, grilled tomatoes, and chive hollandaise, or a traditional vegan breakfast. Traditional Scottish breakfast, please. Me too, right? Like we both have, yeah. I've never had haggis. I've already embarrassed a lot of the new train spotters we have following us on Instagram for my lack of knowledge of these trains. Uh, and now I'm gonna embarrass all the Scotch connoisseurs because I don't know what makes whiskey Scotch. Just the fact that it's in Scotland, I don't know. Let's go to Scotland and find out. But for right now, this is a special whiskey that they, or Scotch, single malt Scotch whiskey um, that they released just a few days ago for the 150th anniversary. And we're gonna try it. My dad is uh, really jealous right now. I can smell the mountains from here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Can you smell the mountains? <laughs> Come check out this cabin. I'm so excited to be on this train. I'm going to be super brief because it is late. He's is a little tired, a little cranky, so he needs to get to bed. All right, we're in a twin berth, which means bunks like this. Stephanie and Hayes are sharing the bottom one. I'm gonna go up on top. Two pillows, which we love. Okay, got a little sink over here, some towels, a little rubbish bin here. Um, hi. Uh, we've also got little window light here we've got usb chargers and then two plugs so and then look there what that shelf says where oh look at this so you can place your devices that is really handy so if you wanted to put your phone on charge which we'll be doing tonight plus our cameras and everything else we can put them in this little shelf here that's awesome i love this bed looks really nice and nice and wide as well um what's on the bed Hayes wants some water, so let's, let's get that. Okay, there's also loads, there's a couple of hangers, but there's also these like hook pegs so you can put jackets and stuff up, which is great. Just get everything off the floor. We're traveling with three like kind of carry-on suitcases. All of them went under the bed, no issues, which is great. So we've got all this floor space. Um, you also get- I water. Oh, oh, he's finished his water now. Thank you, sir. Okay, you get a little amenity kit. So you get a sleep kit, so you get earplugs and an eye mask. Very handy. Oh, he wants some more water. <laughs> all right, also, look at these. Mackay's of Scotland. Mint double chocolate with mint chocolate bar. I'm gonna secretly have one of these. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is a lot. Um, also, all right, we just went to the, the buffet cars that you, that you saw, but if you wanted to, you could actually do some in-room dining. Uh, so they've got an amazing menu. I mean, it looks... Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, that was open. Oh, and that was my bed. <laughs> you didn't tell me it was open. When Pete says they have an amazing menu, oh, they don't do, they don't do it room service. Yes, they do. McSween's, haggis, neeps, and tatties. If anybody knows, I know what haggis is. I don't really. Definitely don't know what a neep and tatty is, and <laughs> the explanation is <laughs> Scottish haggis served in the traditional style with neeps and tatties. Finished with a whiskey sauce. <laughs> it's a cultural experience. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's finish this tour. All right. So, last thing that I'm the most excited about is this en suite bathroom. So, you have your own toilet here that you lift that up. Look at that, how cute is that? There's like a little hole for the toilet roll thing to go into. And then there's a shower. Which there's I, a shower? Yes. I didn't even know that. I definitely am showering in the morning, so I'll let you know how that is. Um, but this is like, this is awesome to have this on a train. Again, never had this on a train before, so looking forward to it. Shampoo and conditioner, some shower gel. Even, look, this is where your towels are. There's some extra toilet roll, all that kind of stuff. This is living. Okay. All right, we're gonna show you, we'll show you a little bit more. We'll let you know how we sleep. Okay, last thing actually, just behind you, Steph, is the, there's a little handy temperature control here. 
uh, and a couple of light options as well. You can, oh, you can dim the lights. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. This is just so much fun. All right, I'm gonna go and get into my wet bed now. See you in the morning. We are all cozy and ready for bed. And it's super late. It's like past 10 p.m. We don't often keep haze up this late. But like the difference between this and like a late flight is night and day because he's been excited about this like us all day because it's like an experience. It doesn't feel like just a mode of transportation. So like getting to the train station and rolling his bags through and talking to the host to, to check in, not check in, but board the train. Um, it's just so much easier than dealing with like a late flight. So while we don't love to keep him up this late, this is much easier than other late nights we've had while traveling and it's just it's so fun and he remembers it and he's excited and like you feel the transition from london to scotland or we will in the morning when you can see out the window so good night i want one of these you want the chocolate mm -hmm. for breakfast mm -hmm. for pre-breakfast mm -hmm. hey what's that what we're in Scotland. We're in Scotland, Daddy. We're in Scotland. What a record. Mm, we slept great. I slept this way. And Hazy slept this way. And now it's a beautiful sunny morning. How did you sleep? Feels so much better. What a way to start the day. I did it all in my cabin. Which way? Our full Scottish breakfasts have arrived. I don't, I don't actually know what some of this stuff is. We might need to get some help. Oh, it doesn't say. say. Yeah, it doesn't say. I'll, I'll pull out. Yeah, yeah. This I think is haggis, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, this one I am unfamiliar with. Excuse me. Do you mind letting us know what each item is? Yeah, for breakfast? so potato scone. Potato scone. And then black pudding, black pudding, bacon, sausage, and this is a haggis potato. Haggis potato, awesome. Oh, this is sausage. So this is sausage, yeah. Haggis, okay. I don't know if wrong. you heard that. I got it wrong, obviously. This is a potato scone, black pudding, Bacon, sausage, haggis, frittata, and tomatoes. Bon appetit. Enjoyed this train trip? Yes! Anything to say? No. Oh my gosh. Every time I go to film. Wait, hold on. Look out this window. I mean, we have just come for breakfast. I mean, it's almost like 10 now. We had breakfast at 7.45, but we just sat and enjoyed the views. It's incredible. You're seeing locks and mountains and sheep and little houses and boats and it's really beautiful. Um, our train is a little bit late, which we're not mad at, due to a police incident, nothing to do with this train. And so we're just hanging out and it's just getting prettier and prettier and prettier. The Calderoning Sleeper, you can choose to go to Fort William, Aberdeen, or Inverness. I think we're doing the Fort William route, which I think is the long, it's not like the most north, but it, we, <laughs> We chose it because we wanted to be on the train the longest. The other thing that was so nice about breakfast is that, um, that we loved, I don't think maybe it's everybody's cup of tea, but 
they seat you, it was crowded because it's it's half term. Um, so there's a lot of families, which is awesome. And they, you share tables. So we shared a table with a mom and a son from Brighton, he's 13. Um, but Hayes, they also gave Hayes like a little kids pack that had chutes and ladders and a little water bottle. And so he was able to like play games with our breakfast mates the whole time. And we just sat and chatted, more sheep. Um, and it's been really lovely. So that's my update. I think, Bit of was, a ramble. I think it was actually, it was uh, Loch Nesses and tracks. It wasn't shoots shoot and ladders, it was Loch Nesses and tracks. Um, also, we call it snakes and ladders. You get the point. Sorry, this is rambly jambly, but we're just, we love trains. We're like already like, what, what, let us know, what's the next train journey we should go on? Because we don't have one lined up after this. And all I want to do is like, just go on trains all the time. This journey has exceeded my oh, expectations. Oh no! That's a I didn't brush my teeth. But yeah, I mean, I'd seen videos on it, um, but I mean, it doesn't do it justice. You need to see it in person, and I'm just blown away by the landscape. And you just have like all this time to just like take it all in. It's, it's up there with one of the best train journeys we've ever done. See that monster in the water? No, seriously. Like you need to climb right there. Oh, just kidding. That's harsh. Hey, back new day. Didn't realize how high we are. Caledonian sleeper from London to Fort William. In case it wasn't obvious, we highly recommend it. Uh, you can book it at sleeper.scott, but I have also left all sorts of information in the description box. If you do do it, let us know. We're on Instagram at Steph and Pete with an underscore. I'll put that here too. Um, but for now, we've picked up a car and we're gonna go explore, I guess, the Scottish Mountain. Highlands. What are we exploring? Mountains. The mountains. Um, so that'll be our next video. Thanks for watching this one. And if you want to stay tuned for more, uh, please subscribe and say hello in the comments. We love to hear from you.